Oh, for crying out loud. Yes, operator, could you give me the police? I'd like to report a murder. This is Officer Saeed. Who am I speaking to and from where are you calling? Yes, this is Blair Kramer, and there's been a murder here at the Angel Square Motel, room number four. The victim is Wes Granger. Are you sure he's dead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Someone stuck a knife right through his heart, and I'm looking right at her. Marty Saybrook. Sit tight for a minute, okay? You should have talked to me before you did that. Oh, you want to have a chat over a dead body? I want to handle this, Blair. Handle? Why? Because Marty didn't kill him. How can you stand here and tell me that she didn't kill this man? I mean, look at her. John, look at her. She's covered in his blood. She didn't even bother to pull the knife out of his chest. No, she killed this man that she's been shacking up with instead of watching after her own son. She didn't kill him. Looks mighty dead to me. How do you figure that, John? She's not a violent individual. Really? She talked Todd into jumping off the top of the palace hotel. And then she was furious with us for saving his life. And you don't call that violent? Animals treat their young better than she treats Cole. But you know what, John? You're just so busy trying to rescue her that you can't see her, the horrible things that she does. I mean, would you look at him and look at her? What more proof do you need? John? You okay? Better than now. Uh, um, your shots, please. Go ahead. I have a phone in. Do you remember me? Yeah, you were nice to me, but John found me at Todd's. We're gonna need your clothes for evidence, okay? If you want Come on, I'll help you change. Why are you treating her like a victim? It's gonna be okay. Let's go. First one on the scene? Yeah. Okay. Blair, were you with him when he uh, kicked open the door? Todd? No, um, I, I showed up later. No. Uh, where were you before you got here? Well, I just don't know why you're wasting time talking to us. It's Marty that you need to be talking to. I intend to. Well, she's the one that left the party drunk with Wes. She's the one that was alone in here with him. And she's the one that I overheard telling John, her friend John over there, that she needed help. With what? Well, she was begging him not to uh, call the cops, but that's what I called the cops. But I didn't know you were going to treat her like a, a wounded child. I thought you might be arresting her. But it's right. You should arrest me. Because I can't explain what happened to Wes. I don't know whether I killed him or not. Marty, we're going to have to take you in for questioning. We're not arresting you, but talk to a lawyer before you say anything. I don't need a lawyer. I got drunk last night, so drunk I have trouble remembering. But I do know that Wes and I came back here and we had a fight. Okay, um... Do you remember what you fought over? He wanted me to move out. Did he get physical? No. That's all I remember. Oh, come on. You remember everything that happened to Taz, but you don't remember how you got the blood on you last night? Damn, Marty, that memory loss of yours is so convenient. Blair, 
I'll do the questioning. Okay. Sure. Come on, John. Let's get out of here. So. Yep. Definitely not needed here. Let's go, John. What? Are you coming? I'm going to need the two of you to come down to the station and make a statement. Then, uh, then you're free to go. Look, I know I'm not a cop anymore, so forgive me if this is out of line, but I think you got to look at Manning for this. Why's that? Well, Granger got it the same way Lee Hopper did, right? And that was in Manning's house. He's got motive. Marty. And Granger pinned him last night with the murder weapon. Something to say, say it. Uh, you really think Todd did this? It's a fit. But I didn't know Granger that well. It could be anyone. Hang in there. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs>